Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a flashlight comparison video today and mainly just the beam shots, but I want to show you what we're going to be comparing first. So these are the same host, Convoy L21B, and these were actually, uh, this video was requested by um, a viewer. And uh, yeah, basically, as you can see, they're identical, identical hosts. And the big difference is that on one, you've got the CUL PM1 F1 emitter, so it's a tiny little LED back there, but it has uh, packs a significant amount of throw. Okay, and over here you've got the XHP 70.3 high. So both of these are actually de-domed LEDs. Okay, but they have quite significant difference in terms of die size output. I mean, this one's going to be producing thousands of lumens. This one you'd be lucky to producing two thousand lumens. Okay, but uh, I want to show you what they're both capable of. And the L21B is a fantastic little host. It's uh, got a big reflector in the front, it takes a 21700 cell. Okay, it's got a tail switch as well at the back. So if you're looking for the light that has the maximum amount of throw for spotting with a bit of flood as well, this one here with the CULPM1 emitter, F1 emitter, which is green. This is really probably the best that you can get unless you get a larger reflector that can house um, this LED. I think out of all the convoy flashlights, this one pretty much throws the furthest apart from maybe the L8 that I have. This one here, it's not going to throw as far. I think I measured about 600 meters, 600 and something meters of throw, but it does produce a lot of flood and just tons more light so we'll cut to the beam shops in a second but if you think of any questions anything you want to know about these lights just let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you all right so i've got the two l21b's here i'm going to go with the xhp 70.3 high version first and that is 100 percent very easy just lighting up this entire field making easy work of it reaching right through to the end and uh, you've got these trees that are closer up as well. Okay. Nothing. There's the, there's the beam. Just move it off the camera. Look at that. Amazing. It is just a wall of light with a gigantic hotspot. Okay, this is the L21B with the CUL PM1 emitter. This thing is, I mean, it just looks like a laser, a green laser. It's amazing. As you can see on the ground, there's a little bit of spill too. So it is quite useful. It's quite a cold night today in Melbourne. All of a sudden, it's been fairly warm previously, but. Tonight's just been very cold. <sighs> Get some of that. <sighs> See a bit of that coming through the camera. <laughs> okay. So this is obviously it's more of a pinpoint beam. And if you're looking obviously to spot something from far away, not too much spill. Uh, I mean this is outstanding range and visibility. Okay, we'll have them side by side and you can see what they both look like. Okay, there's the green, there's the normal XHP 70.3 high, um, and uh, absolutely incredible. It's just blowing out the camera, really. And uh, the, the green actually looks like that. I'm looking at it on the camera and in person and you can just see it cut through the night sky. Kind of in the same way that a green laser would as well. Look at that. It's able to hit that tree all the way into the distance as you can see it back there in the clearing. So 
So yeah, it just depends on what type of beam profile you're looking for. Okay, they're both getting a little warm. Um, go for a quick walk.